you can charge an iPhone with two bananas. I charge like wiggling it, so let's see. There's no, now it's dead. Well, it worked for a second. Welcome back to FM. Today is our Fact or Fiction Summer Edition. We're looking at viral videos to determine if they are fact or fiction. Okay, before the break, the majority of the audience said that is a act of fiction, that a banana can charge. I mean, I've heard of banana in a tailpipe, but I've never heard of this. So, Chemical Kim is still with us. So basically, they put a quarter between two bananas. Yep, two quarters. Two. Qu oh, you got to have two. Two quarters. Okay, two quarters between two bananas. Regular phone. This is my phone. Yep. A regular charger. Yep. All right, you're gonna put it to the test. And probably if I put it in closest to the coins, I'll get a better charge. Oh, so you're already so, telling me it works. I'm not saying anything. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm just saying maybe. This okay. is an experiment, right? Okay. All right, let's right? see. Let's okay, see. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna plug it right in. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, so this is a fake fiction, fiction thing this here. This is fiction. fiction. All right. See, this is what I'm telling you. You can't believe everything you see on TV. Oh, so, so they're just tricking us online. Yeah, that's totally well, trick, totally trick. And think about how it's just impractical to be carrying around two bananas in the two quarters anyway. All right, but you do have something with lemon juice here. I do, because in order to get the electrons, and that's important, the electrons to move from one metal to another metal, citrus works really good. So lemons are fantastic, but you need a lot of lemons to make a battery to charge your your phone and different coins. So ready? We're gonna do a quick little experiment. To okay, show okay, okay, show me experiment. To move those electrons, I'm gonna have you take this apparatus. Is this gonna shock is, me? No, 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 okay. no. It is plugged in, but it's gonna show those electrons creating that current okay, in citrus. Okay, so this, citrus, is, this is a cup of juice. lemon juice. Yes, this yes, This is yes. a light, and we're yep. gonna plug this in. To it's see. already plugged in. Okay. And you're just gonna dip it right in there. Ready? <laughs> Here we go. <gasps> scientific. So what happened here? Because it's plugged yeah, in. So there, you're, you're allowing this current of electrons to move from one piece of metal to another. Okay. And so in the case of a battery, the different metals will yeah. have those electrons yeah. moving already. Is there a practical so. reason I need to know this? Yeah, so that if you do need to charge your phone and you happen to have lots and lots of lemons <laughs> and lots of different metal, you can charge your battery. All right, thank you, Chemical Kim. All right, next up. <laughs> No. The last time we did fact or fiction, we found out that fly larvae could be living in our strawberries. That was a fact that we found out on the show. But what about parasites in lipsticks? Okay, take a look at this. Take a look at this viral video showing lipstick under a microscope. Take a look. Dr. Jenny is here with us because that video went viral yeah. of this. So let me ask the audience first. Do you think it's fact or fiction that there are parents? <laughs> okay. So the majority of our audience say it's fact, but yet I bet you the majority has lipstick in our bag. <laughs> but this is an interesting thing. Dr. Lee Yu, you've got mm. some lipstick here. Yes. Tell us what's going on. So first of all, Tamron, please take a look. We, I think we because have Because we did not use my lipstick. They asked and I said no. Because <laughs> I am, I'm yeah. a very much, I do, what I don't know won't hurt me. So I don't want to know. Yeah. So this is lipstick from one of our producers. They didn't tell me the name of the person because once I see parasites in your lipstick, I'm not coming near you. <laughs> so, all right, so tell us what we're doing. Yeah, so we have lipstick smeared on a slide. Already so, on there. Yes, already okay. on there loaded. So okay. why don't you just Take a look and I'm gonna look inside. Yes, okay. Uh, I see a lot of little anything moving. Well, my lashes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, do I see anything moving? I I don't. No worms. No parasites. No worms or parasites. No parasites. Okay. No worms. 
Now, that video, we definitely saw things moving, right. right? But first of all, that video is really hard to authenticate. So fact or fiction, no parasites? Fiction. Okay. With a twist. With a twist. With a twist. Tell me what the twist so, is. So, do me the honor and please open this. Open this, okay. Yes. This is... <laughs> Beatles! Is... These are Beatles? Beatles could be in your lipstick. So, historically, yeah, cochineal insects or beetles have been used to create that vibrant, bold color in red lipstick. So we these are dead it. beetles? Yeah, and so let me take, actually, I think there is a Q-tip. Yeah, I have I'll it. show you guys. Um, so red lipstick, not all, but could have the beetle parts. So definitely no creepy crawlers. Most of our cosmetics are safe, first uh -huh. and foremost. First, yeah, yeah. yeah, right? They're, we have strict well, guidelines. Well, so if they're using beetles for the coloring, it would seem to be natural, like it's a natural color. Yeah, it's crushed beetles, and it's really extracting the color. But there's nothing live in your lipstick. We definitely have a lot of bacteria and viruses yeah. on your lipstick, and that you can How spread. How often should we get rid of our lipsticks? Uh, you know, it's I would say a year. Clean it, sanitize it. Um, most important thing is just don't show your makeup. I would oh, say if you don't okay. want anything, come in a couple. Well, there you have it. When we come back, have you all seen people putting garlic in their nose? They say it clears your sinuses. We're going to find out fact or fiction. Garlic in your nose, will it clear your sinuses? We're going to jump into it. We'll be right back.